So we begin here tonight with important changes the state health department is making when it comes to administering tests for COVID-19. The demand for tests is skyrocketing. The state announced today it would limit who can get a rapid test at a state and local health department testing site due to the demand and a national shortage. We've seen the long lines and the demand for tests, especially before the holidays. As the new year begins, demand is expected to exceed supply, especially with the national shortage of rapid tests. The state health department says it usually uses about 50,000 rapid tests per week, but right now is only guaranteed at this time to receive 11,000 a week. That's why effective today, rapid tests at state and local health department testing sites will only be available to people 18 and younger and those 50 and older who are symptomatic. The health department says the change is needed due to the national shortage of rapid antigen tests. The move is designed to help keep kids in school. It's also meant to help identify Hoosiers who are most likely to need a monoclonal antibody treatment so they can get it within the window in which it needs to be administered. PCR tests, which are considered to be the gold standard, will continue to be offered at all state and county health department testing sites. Those results are expected in two to three days. Again, the limit on who can be tested is only for the rapid test. And all appointments for rapid tests that were previously scheduled for today will be honored. But going forward, the new rules will be in effect. A couple of other things to know as of today, hours have been extended to the pop up clinic across from Indianapolis Motor Speedway. They are now noon to 8 p.m. Tuesdays through Fridays and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. This runs through January 22nd. Another big change walk ins will only be accepted from noon to 4 p.m. To make an appointment, just go to ourshot.in.gov.